with a book, I want you, yes, you, to succeed and enjoy being in the business world. It is not a book about how it ideally should be. It is a book about how it really is. If you want to have a career, you must understand the reality that I try to illustrate in the book. The book contains 46 pieces of advice. But what is my main message? Simply to realize that you oversee your own career. Only you. No one else. Don't blame bad bosses, glass ceilings, or so-called obstacles. Never, never look upon yourself as a victim. But maybe there are some other obstacles that you should blame. And these obstacles are within yourself, your attitude, the way you see things. <clears throat> so open up yourself and just go for it. Starf auch light sign. Another advice, don't be offended when someone criticizes you. Open your mind and really try to understand the content or substance in this criticism. Just learn from it. Based on this insight, you can then navigate, contribute and work for a healthy development of the business. How does the book relate to my own experience? Hmm. Let me put it in this way. I have lived a long professional life. I've also been a mother and a wife, but let me concentrate on the professional side. Of course, I was nervous when I stepped into my first position. I was so keen to perform that I almost thought that the whole business rested on my slender shoulders. Eventually, I realized that it wasn't all about me. It was about the company. The more I understood about the business, the more I was able to contribute to the success of our department, my manager, the company. Soon, I also dared to make suggestions on how things could be changed. My boss appreciated that I came up with constructive solutions, not only brought up problems. Sometimes later, I realized that it was a bit too much on the boss's terms. My work situation became erratic and unpredictable. One day I walked into the boss and asked, what exactly is my mission? The boss shook his head. Maria, what do you mean? You know what to do, don't you? I then described my need for a mission or a platform from which I could operate. A mission that had a direction, an assignment that he could follow up on. Systematic follow-up is probably the best help you can get. To have one's work effort highlighted or assessed shifts the focus from one's person to one's effort. Something that perhaps benefits us women above all. Because in the end, it's the result that counts, not how I achieved it or who I am. Daring to let go. Daring to ask for help is a prerequisite for success in business. To realize that it's the cooperation that counts, not your own little pirouettes. And give up your need for so-called career planning. We don't know anything about the future. Be professional. Keep on working. Be prepared here and now so you can grab opportunities when they occur. The last piece of advice in the book applies 
when the reader becomes a top manager, a manager who puts structures and processes in place with a leadership that allow participants of all people making things happen. A manager who brings solid values and an ethical view into the company. After all, it's the sustainable result that counts. So how do we create an equal workplace where everyone participates? By realizing that we all have the same value, but with different roles and responsibilities in the organization. But that's not enough. The elephant in the room is that we don't fully respect each other. We simply don't listen enough to each other. Some are allowed to speak, others don't dare to speak. Perhaps there is an even bigger obstacle. We women sometimes don't believe we can make a career. We see business as something insurmountable. Instead, we seek out things that are more transparent. In my generation, the women who had top grades often became psychotherapists. So easy to understand that role. So easy to be able to work half time. So socially accepted. I applied to the business world. Why? Can't even remember. It just happened. I guess I got an opportunity and then I took the plunge. We hired a girl to take care of our son. We paid her social security contributions, taxes, and a decent wage. My entire salary was spent. I had an efficient wardrobe in different blue shades, minimal clothing attention. My whole commitment was directed, directed towards work and towards our son. I remember sometimes I was running home with my heart in my throat. Hello, Ma, he said with a smile. My dear daughter, my advice is stand up for yourself. Assert your integrity. When you raise your voice, you do so based on the role you have, the responsibility you have, nothing else. You are then fully a professional. Take strides or chances when they, when they are offered. Leave the bosses you don't learn anything from. Be genuinely curious and interested in how the whole company works and how the business is going. Don't be quick to judge your colleagues. Be open-minded. It is both enriching and fun to develop in your professional life. You will probably hit hard sometimes, but you will certainly learn from these knocks and you will become more and more confident in your profession. Surely, one of the goals in life is to develop and use the potential you have been given. Good luck with your professional life. It will enrich your whole life. I know I have had a long life. I have a long life behind me. And I'm very grateful that I can still contribute through this book. Out in the companies, you can use it in teams as a base for discussions in depth, or you can use it as a read and reflect book, or you can use it in mentor programs. Perhaps you will not agree on all my 46 advice, but you will hopefully get a deeper understanding of your own standpoint or attitude by trying to understand the way I have experienced it. One thing is for sure, Diversity is a business critical issue. We do need everyone with an inner drive to contribute to our companies. At the end of the day, 
we are all dependent on a healthy, creative, ethical, global business community. A star of light sun. So just go for it. That is my overall advice to all of you. Thanks for listening.